Welcome to Pink Cake Princess, I'm Andrea and today I'm teaming up with Angela from The Squishy Monster. You can check out Angela's full Easter cake tutorial at the end of this video and go to her channel for more great stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to make an Easter egg ruffled cupcake. Perfect on its own or you can match it up with some of the other cupcakes I have for this year and also last year's cupcake set. Put them all together with a small ice cake and you'll have something special for Easter. Check out all my Easter ideas on my channel after you finish watching Angela's video. Okay, I'm going to be using a type of icing called fondant icing. You can find out more about fondant icing and a list of materials in the video description below. Now I've rolled out some pink fondant icing and now I'm using a 6cm circle cutter to cut out a disc of fondant. Next I'm using a petal pad or something firmly like that just to place my disc of fondant on. Smoothing the edges over there and using my cornflower bag just to dust it so that it doesn't stick. And now I'm using a wooden skewer just to frill the edges of my fondant. So just turning it and pressing down just to flatten out the edges and fill it up. Okay, so again rolling out some lightly coloured pink fondant using a slightly smaller circle cutter to cut out my fondant dusting it and then frilling it again with my wooden skewer. Pressing down and turning so that the fondant edges frills up. Okay, now onto my final layer. This is just some white fondant. Again, using a slightly smaller cutter and filling it again. Now, if you don't have circle cutters, you can just use circle cardboard templates and a pointy crafts knife to cut out your little disc of fondant. rolling out some yellow coloured fondant and using a circle cutter to cut out a disc of fondant and then placing it on top of my cupcake. You can click here for the cupcakes recipe. Now I'm using some mini speckled eggs just to finish it off. I'm just going to glue and assemble my cupcake. I'm using a little bit of water. And if you do like my work, don't forget to click the like button below, it only takes a second. And add this to your favourites for future reference as well. Okay, so I've glued it with a little bit of water, you can use edible glue. And I'm assembling or adding on my little Easter eggs. And that's it, that's my cupcake done. You can check out my other cupcakes on my channel. And if you want, you can also share my work on all the social media sites like Facebook and Google+. And don't forget to click the subscribe button too if you haven't already done so. And now here's Angela's Easter cake. Click on the cake here to see Angela's full tutorial. Angela's channel is The Squishy Monster. You can check out more of her work there. Thanks again for watching guys and you guys have a fantastic day. Bye for now and you guys take care.